Hi, this is Mato. In this video, we'll show you the game between Makacik and Sliwa. This very beautiful chess game was played in Poland in 1952. Makacik had white pieces and he started d4. Sliwa played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, and now bishop to b4, Nimzo, Indian defense. Queen to c2, classical variation. Black to move. c5, castling, and d5 are the most common continuations. Sliva played knight to c6, knight to f3, d6. A3, bishop takes knight, check, queen takes bishop, Sliva castled kingside, g3, intending bishop to g2 and castling kingside, black to move. What would you do? Sliva decided to sacrifice the pawn to open the files and to catch white king before he reaches the safety of castling. D takes on e5. If d5, knight to e7, bishop to g2, knight to e4, this is just one line. Queen to e3, f5, and black is okay too. But Makacic decided to win the pawn. d takes on e5, knight takes pawn, knight takes knight, queen takes knight, and white is a pawn up. At a cost of development. Black to move and to play an obvious move. And that is placing the rook on the semi-open file, attacking the queen. Queen to c3, knight to e4, attacking the queen. White queen is very uncomfortable. Queen to e3, is there a better square for the queen? Let's have a look. If queen to f3, then bishop to d7, Bishop to g2, bishop to c6, and white is advised not to castle because of knight to d2. What else? If queen goes to b3, then knight to c5 attacking the queen. Queen to f3, knight to d3 check. Winning for black. So we have a queen to e3. Bishop to g4, h3, attacking the bishop. Moving bishop comes to mind, doesn't it? Sliva played, queen to d7, what a move, allowing white to capture the bishop. Makacic didn't, he played bishop to d2. If h takes on g4, Rook from a to d8, threatening checkmate, queen to d3, and then queen to a4, winning for black. This is discovered attack on the queen. If b3, then check, and if b4, then one of the moves is queen to e5. Attacking the rook, threatening rook takes queen. Okay, let's go back to our game. In the game we have bishop to d2, rook from a to d8, bishop to c3, knight takes bishop, queen takes knight, bishop to f3, attacking the rook, rook to g1, rook to e4, b3 defending the pawn on c4, 
Rook to d4, threatening rook to d1. Queen to c1. Rook to d2. What a difference in the activity of the pieces. g4. What else? If pawn takes bishop, then queen to e6 check. And after bishop to e2, queen takes bishop checkmate. g4. How would you continue now? What is the strongest move for black in this position? The best move is queen to d4. Rook to b1. Black. Play the move when white resigned. The move is Rook to d1 check. White resigned. If queen takes rook, then queen to c3 check and how to block with queen? Then a queen takes queen. Check. Mate. Very nice game, wasn't it? Everything started with that pawn sacrifice in this position. There was plenty of compensation for a sacrifice pawn. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.